too long since I've talked about Star Wars on this channel, so let me remind you of why I love it so much. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised by some of the revelations. <laughs> Let's get started. Believe me, listen to what I ray. <laughs> I'm a geek. If you haven't seen The Rise of Skywalker yet, uh, there is going to be spoilers in this video, so just walk away. But everybody's seen this movie because it's wonderful, it's the best, it came after The Last Jedi, which was even better. At the beginning of the film, we see Kylo Ren searching for answers in the form of a wayfinder on a planet we're not really sure the name of. It's kind of gross, there's a lot of reds and crusts and bad guys getting killed, or maybe they're good guys, we don't know because the movie doesn't tell us anything. But now we do know, because a recent novel came out and explained everything the movie didn't, which was everything. Grab onto your sacks, boys, because the reveal of this planet's name is going to blow a lot of you out of your drawers. It is called Ustafar. Ustafar is where Sir Darth Vader was born and bred, a volcano planet filled with ash and molten lava, magma, and of course, one of the most powerful Siths on the planet, Anakin Skywalker, Darth Vader. That's right, Kylo Ren was there for approximately one minute of film time to retrieve the Wayfinder so he can find a secret hidden thing or base or world or something. I, I, I honestly don't know. There's a lot of running and jumping and moving and, and planet hopping in this film. It's hard to make heads or tails of anything. Actually, we do find out who these guys are that Kylo Ren takes out. They're the Elzamak, which were a, a tribe of sorts that worshiped Vader and then stayed on this planet until, I don't know why, they're just, they're guarding it, I guess. But he kills them, so they're not guarding it. They're doing a bad job guarding it. <laughs> You're dead. They're on a volcano planet, so I guess you could say, you fired. You fed. That's my, that's my president. Not my president, but that's the president. The later half of the film, we're introduced to a new strong female lead named Jana, and she's black. It's about time. This is important because there's only like three black people in all of Star Wars, in all of the universe. And one of them happens to be her father, probably. And that's Lando Calrissian, who we do have a weird exchange with later where he's like, hey, what are you doing? You know who your dad is? And she's like, no, I don't, but you're black. So odds are we're related somehow, right? Who's my mom? And then he's like, oh, it's a, it's a robot who I still like insert my penis into because she's part of the Millennium Falcon now, thanks to the solo movie revealing that. That part's not true, but I bet it is because he definitely had a thing for that robot. It's also gleamed from the Navelle that Luke was training young Ben from the age of birth. That's right, at zero years old, he was learning the ways of the Force. And for 13 wonderful years, he was, uh, he was kind of becoming a douchebag. And eventually he burned down the Jedi Temple. That, that was Ben, Ben did that too. So just kind of all around a pile of garbage. This is a big one. I've been wondering this ever since I saw the movie 25 times in theaters. And that is, who are these people that are in Palpatine's audience at the end of the film when they're fighting in that Coliseum? Who are these people? <laughs> Austin Powers reference, subscribe. Turns out this beautiful book has revealed to us that those are the younglings, the children of fallen Siths. I didn't know if Palpatine was like making them show up with some magical Sith ability, but no, they were actually chilling in the auditorium there and, and Ray just like completely eviscerated all of them. So that was cool. There, there are a lot of kids, a lot of younger members she killed. There's a lightsaber in The Last Jedi, a very, it's a, it's a very special, important lightsaber with a blue crystal inside of it. Well, that's destroyed, presumably by Kylo Ren. I forgot what I just read, but I'm gonna go with that. And Rey uses her magical force healing ability to bring back the lightsaber to life. She, she fixes the blue crystal, it's back, and that crystal can be seen again in all of its glory. Rise of Skywalker. Potentially the biggest revelation is the fact that old Pelpy wasn't actually Pelpy at all. He was a clone of Emperor Palpatine. That's right. There was multiple clone processes going on. We saw that with Snoke in the tube. So what we can infer from this is there is a room full of lifeless husks of Palpatine lying around that just didn't get fully formed. 
Why go for the geriatric 900-year-old look? I don't know. Oh, they kept it Sith. They kept it pure with that old-ass, nasty-looking dude, fucked-up face, you know, he can barely walk. He's kind of limping around. That's the one they went with. And I remember hearing as a joke that Emperor Palpatine was going to be back in Rise of Skywalker way back when Solo came out. There was a review or something that, that showed it. Radish, do we have that clip? Do we have a clip from that, that guy that, that predicted that? As a joke, because it was so silly and stupid to be real. Palpatine fell down. How come they couldn't have sw you know, swept his ass back up? Gave him like a robotic Xavier chair. That's all I know for now, but I'm sure Disney's gonna give us another heaping spoonful of more as time goes on. They're like JK Rollins, they just kind of rewrite everything that's been done. And since the movie is so vague, it's really easy to just kind of make up whatever you want and just kind of you know, put it right in there. But here's the thing, I don't watch Star Wars movies for these, these big reveals and these gotcha moments. I'm in it for Rey. I'm only in it for Rey. Oh, here she comes. Watch out, boys, she'll cut you up. Oh, here she comes. She's a Skywalker. Oh, here she comes. Watch out, boys, she'll slit you up. Oh, here she comes. She's a Skywalker. Unless they change that too. 